Hello everybody, I'm Dave Chaos, and today we're going to be checking out the Stax 2.1 sound system. This is a nice little uh, setup, uh, metal speakers, inline controller, and all that sort of thing. So let's get out of the box and uh, we'll check them out. Alright, so here it is out of the box. As you can see, you get your subwoofer. Two speakers, a 3.5mm extension cable and an RCA adapter cable right here as well. Your quick start guide and your inline controller. So, first things first is your 3.5mm jack. Basically means you can plug this setup into anything with a 3.5mm jack. So, mobile phones, tablets, your computer, anything at all. Uh, so that's nice. Then you've got the RCA converter cable. Which is a nice handy little addition. Quick start guide, just basically a few different languages in there as a quick setup on how to plug it into your computer and all that sort of business and technical specifications in there which we'll go over in a minute. Then we've got the inline controller, so let's bring this over here. You get a 30 meter length cable with this, uh, this plugs into the back of the sub, so if we just turn the sub slightly around like this there we go there's a a jack right there for it. it says control plugs right in there your inline cable controller basically is uh, your volume control so you can turn that all you can turn it off and all the way up like that it also comes with a phone jack and an inline in jack as well which is really nice some rubber feet on the bottom of there so you can have that sat on your desk and um, i've actually used this setup of course and i gotta say you know i ain't no audio professional <laughs> But um, these sound fantastic compared to my old standard speakers that I had, which probably cost me about 20 quid. So there we go. So it's nice to have a little inline controller like that. Then we've got, uh, so the sub-control itself. Let's just put the speakers to the side one second. Bring the sub-control over. The sub, I should say. So here we've got uh, bass control, treble control on the back of the sub itself. So I found that um, adjusting this beforehand, I'm going about. So here we have the bass control and the treble control, just little twiddly things like that. And uh, I found putting some music on, turning it up pretty much full blast, and then adjusting the bass and the treble to what you like um, was a good way to go with this. And then you don't really need to change it after that. So that's uh, been pretty good. There's your line input for your. 3.5 millimeter cable so from the back of your PC into the back of there like so and away you go then you've got uh, the control unit so there's a control that we've mentioned already then you've got your output so right and left for the speakers and there's an on and off switch right there so let's put that out to one side and bring the speakers in so I was really surprised about these speakers they come with a 40 meter length cable which is really really handy you know you can pretty much put them at any way you like I uh prefer to have them on my desk than anywhere else but the speakers themselves I actually thought they were plastic at first but they're not they're actually the the body is plastic but the base is metal so they've got a nice look to them really sleek uh, I mean louder than I expected them to ever be uh, the base themselves actually come with like these little rubber feet as well so they sit on your desk nicely don't slide around and you can also adjust these like so and uh, there's a little hole in the back of the back plate here so you can actually put it up right like that and have it on your wall if you wanted to so that's a, a really nice touch i really like them so there we go there's the overview we'll have a quick talk about the technical specifications of these now and then wrap up okay so the technical rundown of these speakers are as follows so it's 2.1 channel stereo surround sound system three built-in amplifier channels, headphone amplifiers, wired remote control with controls for volume level and on standby, includes terminals for inline and one headphone. It also has bass treble control. There is a mains power switch on the back of the subwoofer. The connections are by audio cables. The frequency range is 30 to 250 Hz subwoofer, 250 to 20,000 Hz for the satellites. It's got an output power RMS of 46 watts, that's 26 watts 
plus 2 10 watts. The dimensions of the satellites are 10 by 20.5 centimeters and the subwoofer is 18 by 28 by 26.5 centimeters. All right, so there we go. That was the um, Stacks by Wavemaster 2.1 audio system. And um, they are really good. I said earlier that I am not a professional when it comes to um, audio setups or anything like that. But I know when something sounds really good. And uh, like I say, I used to have some cheap square standard speakers for my PC. And, and now that I've transferred over to these, the audio quality is second to none. Especially, obviously I'm a gamer, so I do a lot of gaming and it just sounds fantastic. So... Just tweaking that little balance on the back of the sub for, you know, the bass and all the rest of it. And just getting that balance right to the way you hear it, the way you like to hear it, is 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 the way forward with these. And, and they just, it's fantastic. So I'm definitely going to give these uh, Hardware Heaven recommended because I've had a really nice time with these. Really easy to set up. It's just literally plug and play. There's no software needed. You can use your standard Windows, whatever you've got, sound card. And, and away you go. So there we go. I hope you enjoy the video and I'll catch you next time.